Your workflows require you to stay on top of different lists, your clients, projects, or action items, while also managing how all of those are connected and intertwined. In this video, we'll go through three steps to start using Airtable's linked record fields to stay on top of your workflow's relationships. To start, it's important to define what relationships are involved in your workflow. Every workflow requires staying on top of different lists. If you are organizing a project tracker, those could be projects, action items, and clients. In Airtable, each of these lists should be organized into a separate table with relevant records for every item in the list. These tables are separate, but related. For example, your projects are broken down into action items. So it's important you know which action items are related to which projects. And there may be multiple relationships for your workflow. For example, each project could also be associated to a client. Before you start linking your relationships, take a moment to review each table and define how they relate to one another. Now that you have your relationships defined, let's go ahead and link two existing tables together, associating a project to its action items. To do so, you can create a linked record field in your project table. Once created, you can access all of your action items in this field, and you can associate the right action item to any project. When you create a new link, you'll also see the relationship mirrored in the other table. This allows you to add the links from either table. Now you can link action items to projects as well. If you have your related tables ready, go ahead and create a linked record field to connect the relevant information. It's normal that as your workflow grows in complexity, you'll need to manage additional information. For instance, with a few clients, it's easy to stay on top of the client project relationships with a single select or single line text field. But you may get to a point where you'll want to track additional information beyond their name, perhaps their email or mailing address. To do so, you can turn an existing field into a linked record. This creates a new table and turns all of your field values, clients in this case, into new records while maintaining the relationship to the original records, so you still know which project is associated to which client. Whereas before you only had the client's name, now you can manage additional information by adding fields to your new linked table. If you want to expand the dimensions of your workflow, turn an existing field into a linked record to add more information. Now that your links are in place, you can see relevant information at a glance and truly create a single source of truth. Expand the linked record field to see all associated records and hone in on any of them by bringing up the expanded record view, all without switching tables. You can also pull in field values from one table to another using a lookup, eliminating the need to update information in different places when things change. For example, if you want to stay on top of project deadlines for your action items, you can add a lookup field to pull in the due date from the project's table. Now you can update the project due date in one place and see those changes updated everywhere else. If there's a relevant field from your linked records that you want to surface, add a lookup field to bring it into your connected table. Great work. You've taken the three important steps to managing relationships in your workflow using linked records. Want to go more in depth? Check out our written guide on how to use linked records in Airtable.